Hey, seventh grade. As you can see, these are the buildings that we stopped with. Um, now we need to create our windows and our doors. Okay, I'm gonna start with this building here. Okay, these win windows and doors are pretty, pretty simple, at least um, for the sides that are facing us. You're gonna create basically a grid, okay? You're going to create vertical and horizon lines so that all the windows line up perfectly, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create that line across the top of my building where I don't want my windows to go any further. So I don't wanna draw any of these lines too dark because I'm gonna be doing a lot of erasing in between the lines. Okay, so that, my windows will not go any further than that, okay? So now I am going to do the same thing on the front of this building. Now, you can either do the whole side and then do the fronts, and I'm fine with that, but create at least this line so that you know that you don't want your windows in the front of your building to go past that line either. Okay, so now see how that lines up. Now, what we're gonna do next is we are gonna create the space from the, the side. Like, if you look at a building, the windows don't usually go all the way up to the corner because that would make the building not very strong, okay? So the windows usually stop a little bit before the corner. So we're gonna do that, we're gonna draw that straight line up and down, all the way down to the bottom, so that we know that our windows will not go past that spot. Now make sure this is straight, otherwise it's gonna be, it's gonna be either evident that your, that your building line isn't straight or that your window line isn't straight. Either way, it's not gonna look good if it's not straight. Okay, so you'll find out really quick if you didn't draw your building straight because of this reason. Okay, now the next line I'm gonna do, I'm going to, this is gonna be for the windows, okay? So I am going to line up with the edge of my paper so I know I'm drawing a straight line and I'm going to draw a space like that, okay? Then it's gonna be a space that's closer together. Basically about this spacing. Okay, then I'm gonna do another space like this. Sorry, I don't wanna draw that. Okay. Then closer together. Then the bigger space again. Closer together. Bigger space. Closer together. Notice I'm doing this the whole way. This line is getting really wobbly. I think my straight edge is not working as well as I'd like it to. If you notice your lines are getting bad, then either you need to draw, I'm trying to think why, I'm not quite sure. I'm just gonna try to sharpen my straight edge because I do not like the wobbliness of my lines, not for this type of project. They need to be nice and straight. That's much better. Yeah, see how much better that looks? See how this one's straighter than that one? That's because this, my straight edge, it's like I didn't have it, I didn't have the edge sharp enough, so it was kind of bumpy. All right, so a little bit of space out here. Um, looking at the bottom here, I got to decide, I think this is going to be my last row of windows, then I'm going to have a bigger space, and I'm going to have one of those like storefront windows down here. So I'm going to do one more row of window, and then it's going to be the storefront window, so it's going to have more space between it. Okay, so window. 
and then this is going to be storefront. So basically I need to kind of figure out where the storefront would be if I'm looking at a street. So probably about this height. So again, I'm going to draw that line straight across. Okay. And then I'm going to draw the bottom. All right. So as you can see, we've got our horizontal lines that are spacing our windows out. Some buildings do this. I don't want you guys to take the easy way out and do that. Okay. So the next thing that we're going to do is do our grids that are up and down our vertical lines, spacing the windows in between. So windows are usually, did I do that? Oh, that was confusing. It made me think I did it wrong, but this is the bigger space before you get to the storefront window. All right. So what I'm going to do is make sure my paper, make sure my lines are straight. It's actually easier to do if I put it from the bottom. Whatever. Um, before I do that, I want to kind of look at it and judge. If you kind of give yourself little lines about the same spacing, so you don't want it with like a double window. All right. I just kind of did little little dots where I'm going to put my vertical lines. All right. So this is going to be for my window space. I put my line on the edge of the paper. Hmm. Okay. So I'm only going to draw my line in between where the window goes. That's going to save me on erasing later. You can draw it straight down if you want. I just don't want to have as much erasing to do. So all I'm doing it is in those, those bigger spaces that we created, I'm going to draw that line. Now, I'm not going to draw it here because that's the space in between, and I'm not going to draw it here because it's one of those really big storefront windows. So I'm not going to do it in those two spaces. Okay. So then, about the same spacing that we had here, I want to put in between my windows. Okay. So, about there. Again, I'm only going in that spot in between the window, like, or in the window area, because that's going to save me a lot on erasing later. Okay. So that's essentially going to be my first window. Once I erase all these little guidelines right here, see how that's going to look like a window. Okay. So. I'm going to do the same thing right here. This is the window space, so it's a little bit wider. I'm only drawing it in that window space. Okay, remember I'm not going to draw it down here. Okay, then I'm going to skip until I get the spacing I want for in between my windows. And then the space for my windows. Space in between. Okay, that's good space. Okay. 
Okay. My little lines that I drew for myself were a little bit off. I like the way my grid's happening though. It's, it looks like windows. All right, space for the windows themselves. And the space in between. Space for my window. Oh, it's a little bit off, isn't it? See, you're going to notice these things once you're. sure it is even. So. There you go. And as you can see, it's a little bit off. So, but it's okay. I'm going to pretend that this is one of those double windows in the back here. So I'm not going to erase the space in between but I am gonna erase the space in between all of these. So this is how you will create the illusion of having windows. Okay, so in between each of these spots for the grid, you need to erase those little lines. And then you can always go over top of your lines afterwards so that you don't lose the window. And remember I said that this one's going to be a double window, so I'm not going to erase that. Okay, but I will need to erase right there. Okay, and right here, and right there, and right there. All right, so now what you're left with, um, oh, I've got to do the sides right here too. Once I'm done erasing these little sides, you may need to go over top of your, your window lines so that they are dark because as you can see from erasing, some of them get a little bit light, okay? So that's how you're gonna do any of the windows that are on the sides that are facing you, okay? So this is the side that's facing you, this is, this is, this is, and this is, okay? The ones that are facing the road, right here, 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 and here, those are going to go back to your vanishing point, the tops and bottoms of your lines. The sides will be straight up and down, just like the win windows here. But in order for them to be accurate, the top and bottom have to go back to your vanishing point. If they don't, it's going to look like the window pane is sticking out of the building, you know, and sticking straight out. Um, so you don't want that. Okay, so I'm going to stop this video here and I will show you how to draw the windows that are facing the vanishing point in the third video for checkpoint one.